Alright, so this is the long-awaited what is in my binder video. The long-awaited what is in my binder video, I repeat. Now, my binder is just a justice binder. It has a bunch of those cute heart things in it, like monkeys. It's kind of kiddish, but it holds a lot. I'm just now starting to fill it up to the point where I'm not going to have enough room and I need another binder like this. But I've went to like justice stores and many other places and sadly have not found another binder, anything like this one. Because I got this one at a consignment shop. And if you know where I can buy justice binders, um, like in stores, then that would be great. Because the only online store I, know, like, I shop at, which is a Amazon, and I don't want to shop at another online store doesn't have these justice binders either so it's not even online and the only online store I'll really trust or eBay but I didn't check eBay I don't think I don't think eBay had it just eBay and Amazon like uh, I just like this man so this is what this is and if you ever can find one of these I recommend them they're really great and first I'll show you what my little key ring chains on these are then I'll open it up and show you it and I'll just go and do this until we're at a really thing, and then I'll probably have to make parts. The first one I had, the little squishy imported from, like, Korea. But, squishy is sorry, Japan. But it's imported from Korea. I got online, and it's a little icing cone with mint and strawberry. Then I have another ice cream cone with chocolate and strawberry. Then I have this little drink with a bell on it. It's just like, I don't know, a water with a little orange. I have a little space Hello Kitty on it. I have Marionette, even though nobody likes Five Nights at Freddy's anymore. I just have Mar Marionette because despite the fact no one likes Five Nights at Freddy's anymore, I bought the mystery pack in hopes of getting Foxy because I will not lie, though nobody likes Five Nights at Freddy's anymore, Foxy, alright, Foxy and Freddy, and maybe Bonnie are the only three characters who are alright in it. And the only three characters, I would say, are fun to draw and kind of like still... I don't want to say cool because everyone hates it. But kind of like still cute enough to want to look at. And actually just smile when you look at them. But just like regular them. Not like even Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I'm talking about original Five Nights at Freddy's 1 them. But then I got Marionette, and I was deeply disappointed, so I never bought another mystery pack. And then I have this, which I opened and actually had bubbles in it, so I can blow bubbles. Like, I could open this and blow bubbles, but I won't demonstrate, because I can't do that with the camera thing. And then I'll start right up and show you what's in here. I'll start here. The first thing I have is this Dipper Pines on one of those black and white scratches. I drew this a long time ago. Some of the art in here is really old. Like, it is really, really old. So, if some of the art in this is really, really old, then, you know, it's gonna look bad. So, don't judge me. Also, I'm sorry if this video is shaky. I have to, like, hold up my iPad. I can't prop this one up because I'm at my grandma's and I don't want to set this video up because that takes too long to play which is Dipper Pines that I do on one of those and then I scribble all of those out of it. I even scribble a little peel that I didn't finish. It's like tape marks when I was ripping off the tape I ripped off the paper. Um, what else? I scratched it. I scratched up this. I got the F word on it. I just got the axis. Because it used to be on my wall so I started scratching it over the years whenever I was walking out of my room because it was on my, my door really old concept art for something I never went through with for Steven Universe. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat this. If any of my art in here is bad, it's because it's old, or it's really old concept art that I only kept because the concept was good, and I want to remember the concept in case I want to draw it again. That's really bad. I have Beatrice Pregnant, and I liked this one, it was on my wall for a while, but I took it down because I didn't want anyone to see this and think that I'm weird for drawing pregnant people. And it says, 
don't take off pregnant woman bill, and then she's like giving the finger, but it's squiggled out, and she's pregnant, because Bill made her angry for some reason, and I imagine when Beatrice was pregnant, she'd like just get angry a lot, and when she was, wasn't angry, she'd probably just cry a lot, like half, like when Beatrice was pregnant, she just was angry all the time during the day, always angry during the day, but then at night, she would always just cry. <laughs> It was like these weird mood swings, swings where every day she was angry and every night she was crying and just, uh, and Bill was either feeling really angry back at her or feeling really sympathetic, sympathetic. And uh, that was, those were her only emotions up until the day of her birth. And her only emotion on the day of her birth was anger. And uh, now, yeah, even on the day of her birth, it would stay the same. Some weird flag in the United States thing that I colored in, so I kept it, counting it as art because I colored it in. It says, flag of the USA, by me. The flag of the United States of America is a national symbol of freedom. The flag is often called the Stars and Stripes or Old Glory. Flag Day is celebrated in the USA on June 14th. There's actually a thing called Flag Day. Why the fuck is Flag Day a holiday? Why? Why is Flag Day a holiday? Why? Just why? Nobody wanted Flag Day. Nobody wants Flag Day. We already have 4th of July. That's already Flag Day enough. And then I colored this in. Look at my cheap coloring on that flag. Just Ugh. No, it's gonna be a really long video, but I don't care. Stripes of the flag. There are 13 stripes in the U.S. flag. There are seven red stripes and six white stripes. The stripes represent the original 13 colonies. Ooh, nobody cares. There are 50 stars in the U.S. flag. Each star represents a U.S. state that nobody cares about. Oh god, I'm making it all blurry. No one cares! No one cares! And I thought Spangled was Spongebob for a second. I was too lazy and didn't even care about this anymore, so I fucking didn't finish it! That is how lazy I got. I just was probably like, as a child when I did this, nope! And then just gave up on it and probably was just talking to the rest of class. Nobody cares. And then this is something I started and I thought was cute. I found like this real black paper in my mom's attic, so I kept it. And I started this thinking it was cute. Like last year, fifth grade. And uh, then another thing I drew in fifth grade. I just drew Groot as a human because my friend drew Rocket as a human, so I wanted to draw Groot as a human, but I scrapped the whole idea before finishing it. <gasps> and actually, I think I actually did that one sometime in early 6th grade, mid 6th grade. Concept that I did for Hannah and Sophia's sisters. I liked it, but I felt like it wasn't good enough. So I ripped it on my sketchbook. Then I looked back at it like an hour later. I was like, mm, it's good enough. So I kind of, I like this one kind of. But kind of not really. That's how. And then I have another concept design for it, which I like slightly better of Hannah and Sophia. I actually kind of like this one. Like looking back at this, the only thing that's wrong with it is her eyes. Look at those eyes. And uh, Sophia's eyes are horrible. And maybe her head shapes off. But I actually like those. I made myself, I'm, for my last year of 6th grade, I wanted to go all out on, um, what is it, Valentine's Day cards, because it was the last year I'd ever give out Valentine's Day cards. And yeah, you can see my name again, and it's just like a little boy going cool. I was going to do a girl one saying cool too, for like your own boy, but I gave him on that video. Okay. And then on the inside it says, Donut, you know, you're the best. Happy Valentine's Day. It was donut themed, and I hand drew this. Except my mom drew that, but I hate to do everything else. Oh, this is my friends. Friend, if you're watching this, you're never getting this back. And if you're sitting there like, 
Well, that's good for you because you can't come to my house, break into my house, and steal this. I lied. I said I lost it. I have it. I'm just never giving it back. But I might give it back on graduation day. I'm debating whether I should give this back to you on graduation day. And when we graduate from high school, I can just be like, here, this is my graduation gift to you. As an excuse not to give you anything else. And just hand this to you, then run off. I'm also debating on giving this to you after you graduate college. When we, Because I imagine during the whole entire year of college, we just would hardly see each other at all. And then we graduate from college, and we move close together. And after that day, when we move close together, and we probably become neighbors, then I just hand you this card and be like, here, all these years I kept this. But my friend drew this, so I didn't draw this, but my friend did, and I kept it in here. She drew my OC Hannah. Even though she gave her a green shirt, she has a pink shirt. Like, friend, she has a pink shirt. She's not Beatrice yet. Anyway, she has a heart, and she's like, I really like you a lot, Pine Tree. And she's just like, gig probably giggling, or just like, mm, I love you so much. And she can't even hold her emotions. She just has her hand head in her hands. And then on the back, she has this drawing of an animal, which I think was cute. And I use for our friends sometimes. Oh, I do this for school. This is like a web food chain thing that I had to draw for school. And then the teacher never even asked for it ever, so, yeah. Also, what is that otter? What is that animal? What even is that? What the fuck? Even is that? And then I had to do this for school as well. We had to do another food chain thing. It was weird. Don't even want to describe that. Somehow Beatrice is in this, though. Oh, I drew Beatrice so badly. Sorry if it's like, it's really blurry. It won't focus. Focus. Oh. There we go. So I had to make this, and somehow Beatrice fit into it. I had to draw on a flag, but I screwed this version up of the flag that I had to draw, and it was in my folder, so I just put it in here because I was too lazy to throw it away. We had reading buddies back then, but I never finished this, so I never gave it to my reading buddy. But I didn't finish it because I was absent when we started this. So I had to do it all in one morning and I didn't get to finish it. Like, all before school. And then I never even wrote in it. And I never finished it. And I feel bad I never gave it to her, but... Yeah, what can you do? She gave me something for Easter, though. Happy Easter, reading buddy. And I'm not going to read the inside because, you know, why would I do that? We're already at 13 minutes. I'm gonna stop this video, probably A, if this video stops itself from being too long because I don't have enough storage anymore. Then I'll just leave it at that and make a part two, or B, when this gets to 15 minutes. And that was all blurry. So this is just my drawing of Sandy Cheeks. I tried to give, make it in my own style by giving her like a weird bangy thing up there, but uh, I don't know. It's like, it just looks too much like regular sandy cheeks, and I don't even like how I did those cheeks. Damn cheeks. I fucked up them sandy cheeks. I tried to draw something copying, what is it? I was copying like a tutorial. Not online, but just a tutorial in a book my mom gave me. And I actually think this one came out pretty alright. Because, like, when I try and copy a tutorial, somehow it comes out worse. Because I plus the tutorial tells you how to do it in their style, so you can't do it in your own style. And then I tried copying another tutorial, but turning it into Beatrice, and it looked horrible, and I don't like this. Oh, this was for an art trade. I think the hair was brown, but I tried blending to make the hair look brown and purple, and well, I didn't do this right. She looks pregnant. Her body snaps in ways where she looks like she's breaking. I like the background though. I was like, that was a creative background. I was just thinking about Bill Cipher, so I did this background. And then we have this, and I kept it in here because I colored it. So it goes, observations. So 
scientific experiments. What is this? Um, method, problem, question to be answered, results, record the results and analyze. Um, what is this? Hypothesis, make an educated guess, a prediction, um, conclusion. I learned that, all right, compare hypothesis to the test results. And I had to know this for a test, but I never studied for it and probably got an app on that test. Because I didn't start caring about school until just like this year. And that was honestly because all the teachers in every other year were, were dicks. Except for in fourth grade, which was like in fourth grade, they weren't dicks. So it was the only year I felt like I should have actually been a good teacher. But like, they were dicks almost every year. I felt like all the teachers were dicks in the elementary school, so I just didn't try. Fourth grade, there were like two nice teachers and one dick, but because there was one dick, I didn't try in any of her classes. And because I didn't try in any of her classes, that just made me not try in any other classes that much. In a way. But then I did try in the other classes, so I did good in the classes. Then, in third grade, all the teachers were dicks, so I don't think I tried at all in third grade. And then in fourth, second and first grade, they were actually nice. So I think those are the only two years I probably did good. Plus, in second and first grade, you learned stuff that was too easy for your brain capacity. I'm not even gonna lie, I just felt like I was too smart for first and second grade, and then once I got into third grade, I felt like I was too dumb for it. If that makes any sense. Then next I have this, and I was really obsessed with the song, I'm the Bad Guy, so it's just like a little animal drawing thing. Those eyes are off-shaped. Look at those off-shaped eyes. That's no, no. That's no. And he's just saying, I'm the bad guy. That was the lyrics to a song I was obsessed with. And then I have this. It's a fusion between a bunny and a rat, and it's a bun at. I also have this animal thing that I kind of think is cute. In a way, it kind of reminds me of Bill Cypher. Do you remember Bill Cypher? I don't want to remember this at all. I don't want to remember this either. This was when, like, I went to New York. Not New York. I went to Boston for the New Year celebration, and I celebrated that in Boston. And I was on a train, and I started drawing this while we were heading to, like, the celebration area. And we had to sit in a train, and I started drawing this. And I did it then. It's just Hannah and Sophia. And they're just saying, happy 2016 from the Cyphers. I should have put Cypher Twins. But I was originally going to draw all the ciphers, but I didn't. And it just says 2016. And they're just bringing in the new new year with Hannah and Sophia. Even though I didn't finish Hannah's boots. But I like this one. It's cute. I have a digital drawing I think out that I did of Hannah. Or something that was going to be an animation, but I never finished it after one animation shot. So I just left it as a plain regular drawing. Oh. I have this thing that's kind of all bent up. It's supposed to look like this though when it's unbent and it's just Sophia. I did digitally imprinted. And then I have these it's little Beatrice and Bill. And I think this one's really cute. I did it digitally as like a little digital sketch, so it's not supposed to have color. It's just Beatrice and Bill as a little toddler. And Bill has little faces in his mouth because toddlers are cute with faces. And they're just giving hearts. And Bill's just like awkwardly being like, I love you. Like that awkward like little child, like children love. Like he's kind of shyish. And I'm like, do I come up to her? Do I ask her? My friend, do I say I love her? Do I say she's pretty? And the Beatrice is like giving like that small shy look, shy smile, shy, like because because she can totally tell that he's like awkward about something. But it's so cute. I really love this one, even though I did it in like fifth grade or this summer or fifth grade. I don't know when I did this, but it was a long time ago. But it was a really good drawing. 
Um, I have this. It was based off the song Yellow Brick Road. Or Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Just hand in Sophia from her back, back view. I mostly wanted to practice back views with this one and doing fully colored drawings. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh, I don't like this one, but kept it anyway. I really like this one, though. I was trying to do a realistic drawing of my math book, and I think I did pretty good for a realistic drawing. Sort of. Get this one out of here. Oh, I like this one as well. She's just giving like a sly look because she's short. Like she's a little short people. She's short like period dot. So she's about period dot size. And she's a girl and she's giving one of those looks like bitch. I know I'm short. Don't give me that look. I know I'm on I know I'm very short. Under height level. She's like short, short, like midget short, I guess. She's slightly taller than like the midget size. She's probably like two heads taller than midget. And she looks cute because she's just small. And I was just practicing with um what was it? I was practicing with pen doodling, and I think this is a really cute pen doodle I did, but it's not on Facebook. The cutest pen doodle I've ever done, and I, I love this one. Just a short girl. Just some random doodles that fell in my sketchbook. This is supposed to be like Sophia and, and like the wind's just blowing in her blowing her hair and she's like can't even. This wind is hurting my face and blowing my hair. And then a bunch of other doodles. A fire hand said I turned into fire. Some random anonymous person making fire out of his hand and a bridge. And some random thing. Oh, this was my pra practice concepting for the, like the hand and the Sophia pose I showed you. Oh, I can't even. I just, I like Star the Minion movie and uh. Yeah, I don't want to explain this. I can pause and read this because of my handwriting. Something we had to do for school that I didn't finish. We had to do for school last year and I never finished it. And all I drew in it was the cypress and then the word love. I drew a clock my mom had because it was called a rose clock. This clock eventually broke. Just like rose broke our hearts. I like the concept for this one, but I don't think I do it too well. The concept is Dipper's dead, and Bill takes Dipper's dead corpse and draws eyes on it. And then turns him into a puppet. So he has, so he kills Dipper, so he can have his own personal Dipper puppet. Based off the episode stock up where he's like, just one puppet, and then he's like, you're my puppet now, Pine Tree. Oh, well, now literally Pine Tree's his puppet because he kills Pine Tree, so he can use him as a puppet. Oh, I practiced drawing Spyro. I like this drawing of Spyro, but I didn't get to finish the background because my pen started like. It like started running out of ink, that's what I want to say. Um, more stuff I don't want to remember. Oh, this was just a pamphlet thing. I kept some pamphlets in here. This pamphlet thing was something we had at school. There's more stuff I don't want to remember. It was like not Halloween, but I finished a test and it was like I was thinking about Halloween, even though it wasn't close to Halloween. Last year, and I threw Hannah in one of her Halloween costumes, she would have dressed up as the devil to be cute. Because she was devilish like sometimes. Why? I think I was drunk. Like, I think I was so angry with my life that I just got angry drunk and angrily scribbled Hannah, going, Mmm, Chuck Norris. Because mm. I didn't even know what life was back then. This was for an art trade with somebody that I became friends with after doing this art trade. I failed and I didn't try and I was upset with my life. People like were just yelling at me that day and telling me my art was bad. I tried drawing con cotton candy garnet but it got all crumpled up so yeah. I don't like this drawing too much though anyway. I need to redraw cotton candy garnet. Garnet. Drawn it. Blank paper. What else is in here? 
Um, I kind of like this one. It's a concept drawing I did of how Bill's hair would look if it was blowing in the wind. The only thing I don't like about this is I kind of made Bill's hair a little too long and puffy. Too long and puffy. I would have liked it to be a little shorter and stuff, but yeah, it still looks cute for Bill. Another one of those um, Valentine's Day drawings I said. Cards. I I read the book. Um, what was it? Rules. And we had to do like a little poem about the book after we read it. And this is what I did. I did Jason. Sweet, smart, friendly, tapping. I thought it said fucking, but it says flipping, running, Catherine, pretty, wheelchair. And yeah, it's just Jason and I drew him how I thought Jason would look um, in the book. And then I drew how I thought Catherine would look. And Catherine basically just looked like Hannah. In a way, I basically just gave her a little short of, sort of ish hair to hair. I don't like how to Catherine. Now, I didn't draw this, but it was the pamphlet for something the fifth graders did last year. The Wax Museum, so some fifth grader drew this, and I stole it. Even though we weren't allowed to take them, and the pamphlets were only for the parents. I took one anyway, just because. Uh, sorry for the thing with blending with, um, fabric markers they were on, what were they? You know, those Sharpies, I was practicing drawing the Sharpies. I was practicing blending something, which I don't think we had to do for school. And this is what I did, and I liked how I blended it, so I could <laughs> And then I had to color this in for school because she keep giving us our teacher last year would keep giving us the same pamphlet over and over again, forgetting she kept giving it to us. And the only difference would be that it would have a different cover every time. And I didn't want to do it at all. So every time she yelled at me to do it, I'd just color in the front cover and take a really slow time on coloring in the front cover. So that if she looked over at me, I'd still be doing what I was supposed to be doing, but it wouldn't be the actual work part. If that makes sense. I'm gonna move this like pile over. Let's turn the pile. I have more stuff. I uh, I have a printout of a drawing I did. Uh, cause cause someone I was role playing with drew my OC because she asked if she could. So then I'm like, sure, and I'll draw your OC in return. Because I kind of wanted to draw her OC anyway. And I'm still role-playing with her because she's great. Kind of like a role-play buddy. And this is what I drew for her OC. And she liked it a lot. And then somebody else drew her OC looking like this. So, yay. I really like this digital drawing. I have this thing I got in first grade that I found under my bed, and it's an award for soccer, because in first grade my mom made me sign up for soccer. But I gave up on soccer because every single game we played, we lost. I did not win one single soccer game, so I gave up on it. I had to do a what's the scoop thing, and I kept this in here because it was just another loose paper of mine. And this is what I did. Someday I hope to meet Alex Hirsch. I am very good at art. If I could go anywhere, I would go to Gravity Falls or Hawaii. The greatest thing I could do with my life would be to make peop would be would be to make art people love. Make art people love. Make art people love. That that sounds wrong. I get angry when I mess up. Sometimes I have to cry. Life is boring. In all capitals, life is boring. I admire bigger artists. I am, I was embarrassed when I, I got hailed in public. I was four. I literally wrote hailed. That doesn't make sense. I've always wondered what it would be like if my OCs were real. 
the best day of the year is derp and derpy face. I am happiest when I am not failing at life. That's relatable. School is awful in all caps. I used to believe that my BFF hated my art. I need help with math. I should have put I need help with life. But anyways, that's what I wrote on this. I, I don't even make sense. And this is hilarious, so I have it. Then I have this one that I won't read to you because it's not as fun. I just kept it for look back purposes. And I wrote this one in second grade, so it wasn't like I was like in first grade or something. So this was only last year. I, I was an idiot. And on purpose, too, because I didn't care about that paper or anything that happened before high school. Because in high school, I actually care about things. To a degree. Oh, this is a really old drawing I found of Animal Jam stuff. I drew a headdress from Animal Jam back when I was into Animal Jam. This was when I was just barely getting into art at all. And for being a very tail beginner artist, I think it was pretty good. Another really old drawing. I think this one's pretty good too. It was supposed to be of Applejack. Sister, well, little sister. I don't remember her name, but it was supposed to be of her. I think the hair on this one's pretty good, and the bow. The rest is bad. Oh, this is another bad animal dance thing, I think. Is this a slightly better animal dance one? I like how I did some of it. I like how I did the tail. And the snout, I guess, is a pretty good. Oh, this is probably the best animal jam one I have right now. And it's another animal jam one I did. Probably the best one I have right now, except the legs look broken. But I really like how I did the tail on this one. Another front cover to one of those packet sheets my teacher would give me that I colored in. And only colored in because I didn't want to do the work inside. Um, this is concept art for something I had to do in high school. Not high school, I had to do this in Spanish class, but I actually tried on this one. I like how I drew that cute ant. Ooh, look at that cute ant. I like how I did this one. I like this one a lot. Oh, this is just some Spanish notes. I don't take Spanish anymore, I take French now, because I get to choose what language I can take. I didn't have a choice before, and they were just like, you're taking French, take French, take it now. Something else, I, I mean, not French, they are just like, you're taking Spanish, take Spanish, take Spanish now. You want? You don't want to take Spanish? Too bad. Then you can't go to this, then don't go to this school. Like, we didn't even get another language option. And then I had to color this in for Spanish, but I never finished it. Don't know why. Oh, that was a bad person. This was an inspire inspiring quote that one of my teachers gave me. The only nice teacher we had last year. And it was an inspiring quote, so I kept it. That's them. It was just some random Ben Doodle that I didn't finish, and his hair's kind of bad. We had to do this thing where we had to come up with our own logo design, so I drew, like, the logo design for our thing. Our look, not a logo design, rather, but more or less I just drew this as someone showing off the thing we made. We created a little horse helmet thing. And I just had my OC Hannah showing it off. Oh, this was a Mary thing. Concept design for something. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just something I started writing but didn't finish gonna be a story that I didn't finish. 
I drew a drawing of my OCD Hannah in a cat outfit based off another drawing I did of her in a cat outfit. And then I really like drawing her in a cat outfit, so I started drawing her a bunch of times in a cat outfit. Because my OCD Sophia loves cats. I need to draw her again in a cat outfit because it's fun to draw her in cat outfits. Because that was like the Halloween costume she had last year. So last, um, October she had that Halloween costume. Now this October I gotta create her a new Halloween costume. And Hannah's last year, I guess, would technically be the devil thing. Now, she was a witch last Halloween, but then I did the concept design for her to be a devil. So, I might work out the concept design more for her to be a devil, so that that can be her canon concept design for this year. And then, Hannah's, Sophia's needs to be something else. Oh, these were some drawings of an old OCD I had that I gave up. Kind of. I still like him as concept design. Well, my friend didn't like him, so I eventually gave him up. His name was, what was his name? Thank you. I mean, I'm bringing in your thing. Yeah, thanks. Alright, I don't know what the name of this character was. Her mom came in the room. The name of this character was something. Was it. It's gonna come back to me, or I'm just gonna find another paper with the name on it. Oh, here's something that I found. This, I'm gonna read this to you because I want to. It goes like this. Alright. So we had to write this for like, something. We were like visiting the high school and we had our English teacher made us write something down like this. And this is how it goes. It goes, plot of a story. How is the story crafted? So we had to give characters and stuff. Alright, so this is the first character. Dad, 46. Mom, 40. Twins, 12. Hannah and Julia, and they're both 12. Dad is like between mean and nice. Mom, very nice. Hannah and Sophia. Hannah and Julia, kind. Alright, when does this story take place? Hamps, Houston, House and Texas, 2015. In, okay, what is this, what starts the conflict? Their herd of horses runs away and gets lost. Rising action. What's happening in the story? Give me five moments, events, actions, and sentence form with detail. Go into town. Destroys this. This, this, I don't know. It's like this with two S's. Police with nine mm. Clutch, sevens, and I can't even read that. Four horses die out of the ten that escape. The other six run out of town. The policemen contact the next town town to alarm them. Alright, next group, continue the rising action. It's too late. They are already there. They are shooting all the horses. There is only one left. And the last one goes back. Happy as can be. <laughs> Alright. What is the turning point of the story? Where is the conf- Where the conflict is con- Connect- Is concerned. The point of no return. The biggest moment of the suspense. Hannah falls into a hole and dies. Mom is sad. That's so depressing. I almost cried. I'm like, why couldn't they have killed off Julia? They killed off my OC. <laughs> Poor Hannah. <laughs> then it goes on. Falling action. What five events lead to the end of the story? They have a funeral and miss her dearly. All right. Then they have another child. To miss. Then they have another child to missing love. They had their hearts. The new child was born on Friday the thirteenth. She got bad luck, but turned into a god. A god, but turned into a, but turned into good when she got her family. All right, what is the end of the, the point of conflict? How was it resolved? The live happily ever after. The end. All right, what message is your story trying to send? Love your loved ones for us long. 
as they live. And then I added this. Alright. Then this is the one that I personally added. Because they replaced Hannah, right? The point of this is that they replaced Hannah with another child to replace her after she dies. But then they totally neglected Julia the whole time. Did Julia die when I didn't realize it? Because they had two twins, right? And one of them was Julia. They neglected Julia. So I made the second moral of the story. Do not neglect your children and fill the void with un with unneed new children when you still have a child not dead to fill the void.